AliExpress names, I mean, it's, look at this, Beauty Papa. Why is it a Papa? What? <laughs> it's just weird. Oh, well. <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome. And welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena. Привет. I'm your Russian-American makeup and beauty addict. I love buying inexpensive, affordable makeup, usually, and testing it on myself and pass the savings to you guys. This is one of those videos. I'm going to be comparing two products, half of my face done with one and the other half with the other. So we're comparing Tati Beauty, which I love and I use, to very affordable, inexpensive makeup product from AliExpress look similar so we're going to be doing one side uh with one and one side with the other and see what happens so if you guys are interested then keep on watching don't forget to subscribe and free notification bell I upload every monday wednesday and friday at 11 a.m pacific time so leave me a comment below and let's get right into this video So day three, take two. So the reason I'm doing another one of these is because first time I did this video, I lost all of the footage and it's my own fault. I just deleted it. Yeah, just did that. So this is pretty good. Since starting my YouTube channel from August, this is my first time deleting the footage, totally destroying it. Oh well, we'll do it again. So let's pretend I never did this. I'm gonna act, act surprised. So I got this on AliExpress for $3.29. So it reminds you of anything? So all right, first things first. I love Tati Westbrook and I'm a fan, I'm a stan. I love everything she comes up with. I love and have her palette. And I do like Blendiful and I use it. See, it's been washed, it's been ripped a little bit <laughs> and I love it. Uh, but only for powder. I'm not a real big fan of uh, liquids like foundation, maybe because my skin is dry, it just doesn't work and it absorbs kind of moisture. So I bought these just to see what kind of uh, product this is and how this compares. As you can see, this is smaller. It feels a little stiffer. So you can bend it, but Blendiful is softer and it bends easier. It kind of like feels a little harder inside, but the surface, the bristles are very short and this one is like a little furrier, you know, longer bristles. So we'll see what's advantage and disadvantage of either. Uh, Tati herself claim, didn't claim that she created this. Uh, this has been around for years. It's a puff, but she says she improved it. So I'm just curious, what do you get for $3.29 compared to 18 bucks? And you get two, they're smaller, but you get two. And here you get two, one small, one bigger. So, you know, give or take. So I'm gonna give both of these products a fair chance because I'm going to apply everything moisturizing because I feel like the dry kind of fabric, uh, it just sucks the moisture. So I primed myself already with this e.l.f. Jelly Pop primer, dew primer, and it does kind of hydrate, so it feels very sticky and dewy, so that should help. Uh, for the foundation, I'm using Revolution Conceal Hydrate. I like this foundation, it's very hydrating. So I'm using F8 shade, that's my shade. And I'm going to start, uh, let's do Tati Beauty on my left side and AliExpress on the right side. Oh yeah, and the name is weird too. <laughs> AliExpress names, I mean, it's, look at this, Beauty Papa. Why is it a Papa? What? <laughs> it's just weird, oh well. But it's kind of a nice uh, little packet. I don't know. Whatever. So I'll do one pump because I know uh, the dry fabric usually kind of sucks the foundation. So I'll just do one and we'll go for it with a small side. I already forgot which side I'm gonna do which. <laughs> I'll make a decision and forget immediately. So I already know I wasn't a fan of this, but maybe with all the dewy products, it's going to work. So my problem was it leaves the streak marks and I kind of still end up with a sponge over it. So we'll see. 
Okay, I managed to apply it down the middle, sort of, kind of. It's hard to divide your face, divide your face in two. So let me zoom in so you can see. So this is uh, Tati Beauty Blendiful. And it looks decent because I try to kind of push it in. Because otherwise it leaves the bristle marks. But if you really, really tap it in and use a hydrating foundation, it works. I still like my Juno sponge better because with Juno I don't use as much product. But that's it. So the same thing on the other side. We're going to use this one. This one is already stained from my last application. <laughs> oh, this is pitiful. I was so upset when I deleted that. I'm like, oh, no. My husband is a geek in the family. I'm like, find a way to retreat those files from SD card. And like, let me look. So I downloaded this program and it found all the files. And then they asked me for $89 to retreat them. I'm like, ah, I think I'll film again. It's okay. <laughs> So yeah, next time, note to myself, don't delete anything until I'm sure. <laughs> so use another pump. And I used a little more than a pump on this side of my face. So that tells you that this product does absorb, at least on me. I don't know. Some people might like it, but... So let's try this. The short bristles, it still feels soft and you can still bend it. So I'll use the same technique, kind of drag, and then push it in. Right off the bat, I see that applies uh, better in a way that it doesn't suck as much foundation. Like I see better coverage immediately. So with Blendiful, to me, it kind of takes away the coverage. So I have to build it. I mean, you can just use more foundation. But why? Why use more foundation if you can use different product? That's why I like Juno. I feel like a broken record. I keep saying Juno. <laughs> I keep advertising them, but I really, really like that sponge. So keep pushing this in. And I definitely feel like this one pump covered and covered more. So with the other one, I wasn't on camera the whole time, but I did use more. I feel like I could just use just a little more here, but it's already looking better. So, so far, uh, should we keep a score? Let's keep a score. So here's a foundation which looks kind of identical. I got this to work sort of. It's still like a little bit streak marks here from uh, Tati Beauty. But overall it looks very similar. And I would say the, what is it called? The Beauty Papa. <laughs> Just makes me laugh. The Beauty Papa kind of uh, was more impressive on a liquid foundation. It used less product and went on smoother without any streak marks. Obvious reason, the bristles are short. The short bristles means smooth application, so they're not long, you know. But Tati Beauty has bigger surface, so there's that. But I think I like the application of this. So the score is uh, one to zero. <laughs> So let's get to the concealer. So I'm using, uh, trying to keep to the Revolution theme. Uh, Revolution Conceal and Define. And I like this uh, better than Conceal and Hydrate. Because Conceal and Hydrate kind of greases on me. And this one is really good coverage. This is a new one. So I'm going to go with... And I'm going to try to use a small one. I haven't used a small one yet. So I'll try to use a small one for my under eyes. The Tati Beauty Mini. I think it's called mini. So, let's see. Okay, I think the mini works real well, actually. Because mini has shorter bristles. It's almost like this beauty papa. So, um, might be a better product for the concealer. I don't know. It seems like it is. So, now we're going for the beauty papa. I keep saying this name and keep on cracking me up. <laughs> so now I'm using, I'm probably going to use this side, the pointy side. And let's see. Let's see who wins. I have a feeling it's going to be a, a tie on this. Because the mini blend full worked real well. So we'll see. 
I like the way this pointy end gets in there. This is easier than the mini blendiful because mini blendiful is kind of rounded and this one is real pointy. Okay, zoom in a little bit so you can see the under eyes. So, Beauty Papa, Tati Beauty. So, what do we think? Let me look in the mirror. Uh, kind of looks similar. I think this one has a little more coverage, maybe. Or maybe it just seems. I think they're kind of even. So, let's say a one and two, one. So now we have two to one. <laughs> so let me zoom you back out because I get out of focus. So now the next product will be powder. And I know I love Blendiful for powder, so that's going to be no surprise. So I'm going to use again something more of a hydrating, I guess. And this is a new e.l.f. This is the one with Halo Glow setting powder. It kind of doesn't feel too dry. I like that. So I already shook out some and we're going to continue. So for the Blendiful I still have this dry. So I'm going to use this side and I'm going to set the face and see who wins. So Tati Beauty side is all set. So we're going for the Beauty Papa and I think I want to use another side because this one is kind of wet. So we're going to flip this, the same kind of principle, the handle flips, and you can use the other side. So since I have two of them, I think it should be enough for all the products I'm using. So let's see. Yeah, same thing, sets well, just like uh, Blendiful, Blendiful sets really well. I have no complaints with powder, so I love it. So both sides uh, are set. And Tati Beauty, and this is the bl uh, Blendiful, and this is Beauty Papa. So, looks the same. I'm telling you, the setting powder is the easiest part, and I really like it. It's easy, it's fast, both of them perform exactly the same. So, I would say, again, one to one. So, the score is now three to two. This is a dumb system. I don't know who came up with it. <laughs> this girl. So now we're going to do contour, kind of staying with the revolution, I like revolution. So I have this Pro HD uh, powder, contour. So I'm just going to use a lighter shade. And none of them kind of that light. This one's pretty dark, so you have to be careful. That's the only thing with this uh, kind of products. Compared to brushes, when you do contour, it really brings everything up bright and dark. So you have to be go really going easy with that. So now I'm going to use, I'm still using the same side, so this is the advantage of this one. It has more real estate here. So I just bend it. I'm going to dig in into this shade over here. That's pretty much the only shade I can use here for color. <laughs> but I like it, it's a nice palette. So just go really easy. Just kind of pat it in. See how bright this is? So now I have to blend this out. Kind of a circle of motion. I always tell myself I'll go easy and it always brings up too much color. So the easy way to fix it, dip into a lighter powder and just go over it. Kind of buff it out a little bit. Yeah, like that's the only thing with this. It has to be so careful. Probably should go with a lighter shade, it would be easier. But with a brush, when I use that shade, it's easier. It doesn't get as dark. So I'm gonna go here. So that's the ease of this, you know, kind of just pat it in, drag it to a hairline. I don't feel like it removes the foundation. I remember somebody asked me, does it remove foundation? It doesn't, not for me. You know, of course you don't want to like really push in it. <laughs> then you're gonna be asking for it, but it does not. Go under my lip on one side, which feels odd. And to my jawline. So that's why I regain I like this because it's so so easy. Just blend it in, drag it down. 
probably not gonna use my nose contour because it's hard to contour with this kind of thing anyway now I'm gonna use uh, bronzer just with the same side immediately that's Rimmel I just found it in my stash and I forgot I had it so I'm just gonna use it uh, natural I think I call it sunlight I had it for a while I forgot I forgot I had it it's a pretty nice bronzer like warm but not too warm just right almost like a bronzy blush I really like it and the bronzer really makes uh, Hunter look better I think I'm gonna try the mini blender full for the contour of a nose I'm like sabotaging myself I'm gonna dig this little corner and we'll see how much damage I could create I still have to go grocery shopping and if I go to the store looking with a weird nose everybody's gonna be staring at me what is she doing? in a full face of beat makeup and a crooked nose really careful oh girl no I knew it was gonna be a fail just use brushes for the nose I don't think so <laughs> I don't think even Tati did the contour of the nose with this uh, I don't know about this my god oh my god so um it's a hard no <laughs> maybe I'm not getting something but it's hard to nose contour with a little puff like that it just I'll just kind of put the powder over it and call it a day so now I'm going to use the beauty papa and I still have a lot of room on the other side so powder was here so I'm gonna put bronzer on the other side so I'll go with the contour shade the same shade and let's go easy I don't want to make the same mistake huh hmm it seems like it applies a little smoother like the darker product and I think I know what it is so when you think about this the short bristles they don't pick up as much product so that advantage is you're not gonna deposit big blob like with a uh, blended full this is a good thing on one hand because it applies a lot so you can be very sparing sparing <laughs> you know what I mean you're gonna save your bronzer so this one if you take a little bit it applies very very smoothly and you can use more without making mistakes so kind of like a brush I would say so I kind of like that that it's harder to make a mistake here and let's do the same thing I did on the other side I'm gonna use the same uh, side and go for the same bronzer I'm gonna dig in and kind of apply it all over this is a real pretty bronzer I like it I don't know how I forgot I had it it's very subtle I think even fair skin tone people can use this it's a 021 sunlight primal it's really pretty color it's funny I went through my drawers doing the clutter and I found this so that shows we really need to go through our stuff <laughs> to know what we have especially people who have bigger collections can you imagine the bigger youtubers what kind of stuff they can find in their uh, piles and piles <laughs> oh yeah I almost forgot to sabotage myself and use this little side might as well do the other side of the nose and see how this one works and I have a feeling it's gonna work just the same as a mini blendful and this is very dark watch that <laughs> it's gonna be a train wreck uh, yeah the brush is better for the nose contour but I think this one is not as bad because it's kind of like at this pointy and does work a little bit yeah that's actually decent just blend this little powder over it yeah I'm still not a big fan the brush is the way to go if you want a nose contour well so I think the bronzer and the contour I'm gonna keep it in the same category and what do we think at the end results are the same really 
it might have applied a little easier and like less pigmented so it was easier on a beauty papa so we should give this a point although they're kind of similar so i think to be fair this performed a little better to me easier i would say so i'll give this a point so this would be are we on three to four i think we are i forgot my own score so let's say this is a five to three it's five and three i regret i regret the score system <laughs> i can't keep numbers in my head for two seconds so <laughs> now i'm gonna go into a highlighter again another revolution product i uh, love this palette can you see i hit the pan on all three and this was our vacation to london and uh, paris 2018 my husband and i went i went straight for that uh, super drug and i got this in super drug i loved it i used like every shade even the blue yes i'm that kind of person i'll use the blue <laughs> So now uh, the blender full kind of running out of space here, so I'm going to turn around and I'm going to use the other side for a highlight. So what do we want? I think I kind of want to go between pink and white, gold. They're both great and I'm almost, I've almost used up. It's hard to hit the pen if you have a lot of highlighters and I do have a lot, but I've used this up before I had a lot. At the time, it didn't have a lot, so I used this. <gasps> I'm on the wrong side. Alright, so let's say this didn't happen. I'll use a sponge to remove. Here, my experiment is getting a little effed up. <laughs> I'm talking, I'm forgetting what I'm doing. Alright, left side. Me being left-handed, constantly mixing up left and right. My husband and I in the car, and he's like, which way is it? I'm going like this, to the right. <laughs> True story. <laughs> he's like, is this your right or my right? I can't believe I can teach Zumba and not confuse sight. That is a beautiful highlighter. And that this puff really, really applies a highlighter well. It's probably my favorite part is a highlighter. So I'll go to one side and I think I'll do the middle of my face with the new sponge because I already know this works. Maybe just one side of my lip and one side of my chin. <laughs> this whole face separation is hilarious. the other side so I'm not taking do I have any more space here uh, should I use another one I think I can bend it and use the middle kind of go with the highlight all right let's do this oh yes so I think this is even the highlighter applies evenly both of them apply real well and I'm gonna put it in the middle of my nose, bend it, and I'll use the white gold kind of co color down my nose. Okay, yeah, works well. I would say this is even, so the score is now six to four. Yes, I think I got it right. Now we're going to blush. And the blush I'm going to be using, uh, I did not have Revolution blush, even if I wanted to go with the Revolution. I don't have it, so I'm just using a blush that I came in the boxy charm, and this is Seate London, and the color is Dusk. It looks really pretty. So let's start with this. I'm already on the other side of the Blendiful, so I'll just use a corner. Again, it can be very, very bright, so I have to be careful not to look like a carrot or something, or tomato. All right, this is actually very pretty. And I wish this helicopter would shut up. I don't know if you can hear it. We have helicopters flying over downtown LA all the time. And sometimes it gets so close to our building, I'm like, 
What are they looking for? <laughs> Nothing going on here. Keep going. It's like, I'm making a video here. Shut up. <laughs> it reminds me of Peter Mon. If you guys ever watch Peter Mon, he's so funny. He's always like, you're driving by my car. I'm making a video here. <laughs> It just makes me giggle. I like Peter Mon. So the blush came out easily, so let's try Beauty Papa on the other side. I might have to use another one of these because I already used this up, so let's move on to the second one. It's not bad actually. I used almost a uh, full face in one, pretty much. One you, little one, and it's smaller. So I just move into the second one now. Again, I feel like uh, the blush is not deposited as harshly, so it's kind of easier to build it up instead of making a big blotch. So. so what I'm thinking about the blush, I think it was applied evenly in both sides. It looks about the same. And um, I think with the ease of application, maybe this one's slightly easier, but I would say it's a one-to-one. -one. So now we're at a seven to five, and the AliExpress is winning shock <laughs> well this is just my face my opinion i still love tati but i like the way this applied better and now we're going to set and see what it looks like after i set it well this is kind of hydrating mist i like hydrating because my skin is dry and i'm hydrating here that's elf hydrating coconut mist it's cheap i kind of like this but i want to get through it so i'm just trying to use it up can be a little aggressive. <laughs> All right. The setting spray is dried, I think. Let's see, zoom in. Let's look at the results. Yeah. It looks good. I think I kind of sort of figured out how to use Blendiful uh, with the liquids so it works. The key is to use very hydrating foundation. The failure foundation was L'Oreal uh, Infallible, which I love, but with a sponge. But a Revolution Concealer Hydrate, this one works better with Blendiful, so I think that foundation has to be very hydrating for me for it to work. So let me finish my lipstick and I'll be back. So the makeup is all finished and it's pretty much lipstick. I put some more lipstick on and this is Anastasia Beverly Hills ABH uh, TG Maxx lipstick. I still love it. It's matte, but it's not too dry. So what do we think? I think the both sides look exactly the same and it performed the same. So technically, I don't think anything wins, although I did keep the score <laughs> and the score was officially, I think, 75. So technically AliExpress won one uh, because I like the way it worked, but in reality, at the end, it's all the same thing, really. Except I do like that the shorter bristles here make it smoother, like everything's smoother rather than the long hairs here. So I'm kind of like, I love it as it is, but compared to this one, this might be the winner. I don't know. Well, still love this, still love Tati, still love Blendiful. Don't want to piss off anybody. <laughs> but anyway, it's the truth. I still like it, but I would probably prefer uh, AliExpress on the road. Like, we're going on vacation soon, and I think I'm going to take both of these with me, and probably I reach for this. It's easy on the go, it's light. You don't have to take any brushes. Just can use the whole face for this. Light the, lighten up your back. You know, if you want to see it close up. Tati Beauty. And this is the AliExpress uh, Beauty Papa. Still the same difference, pretty much. So if you guys are really struggling with the budget, if you can't sh uh, order anything that expensive, $18 might be, might be expensive for somebody, especially if you are not in US. Uh, the shipping and the taxes might add up. So you might want to order this if you want something as a substitute, unless you're a big fan of Tati and want to support and want to have uh, something from Tati Beauty, then order this. But 
if you really want to save aliexpress 3 to 29 i'm going to link this below and you know where to buy this there is no need for linking so i'm going to just link the aliexpress version these two come in the same package so it's pretty good buy so i hope you guys enjoy it and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it leave me a comment below what you think uh do you have any puffs that's similar uh there are probably tons of them you know other kinds uh so subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet I upload every monday wednesday and friday at 11 a.m pacific time so i'll see you guys in my next video and thank you for watching bye